Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, no matter where you are. Okay, let's see what we've got on the menu today. Oh, this is an interesting one. A Thai woman is the world's most beautiful triathlete. Very good story. Very, very good. Monkey madness in Thailand. The gangs are going for it, and all the monkeys are fighting like you wouldn't believe. 100 school students get diarrhea. It's no yoke. Thai Airways plane hits private jet parked at the Wataya Airport in Laos. Well, I hope he left his contact details on the windscreen. China to cooperate with Asian nations on South China Sea. Isn't that wonderful? Corsican Bank stops all foreign money exchange nationwide. And the new UK toilet paper game. But first up, the Thai woman is world's most beautiful triathlete. And she is. And what a fantastic story. is the most beautiful triathlete. Let's have a look at this. Meet the stunning fitness fanatic who has been dubbed the world's most beautiful triathlete. Tunwaren Titi Kamarun. Catchy name, huh? Local media have now dubbed her the world's most beautiful triathlete. Can you disagree with that? Tunwaren said she was never interested in sport or working out until she was diagnosed with scoliosis. Exercise helped her to strengthen her spine and then her attractive look also led to her modelling job, as you can see. Tunwarin said I had to lose weight, otherwise my back would hurt a lot. So she started to look at four types of exercise which were fun and she could enjoy herself alone. Then one day a friend introduced her to cycling and it's become an obsession ever since. The athlete began cycling and then started running several years ago. She was finalist in the Bike Angels competition in 2016. She is now working as an MC in sports events and also doing glamorous promotion work. Have a look at some of these photos, that is glamorous. Tunwarin said she competes in cycling competitions in different provinces around Thailand so she can appreciate the beautiful scenery that makes her relax. Makes me relax too, looking at her beautiful photos. I could do this all day. Okay, enough, let's move on to the next story. <laughs> Footage of hordes of monkeys running around and fighting each other in Luxbury city centre has been widely shared on social media and published by Thai media. The battle was between monkeys from different parts of the province. One tribe claimed an historical temple, another tribe that inhabits a nearby shrine, and a third that typically roams around the streets and markets looking for food. The monkey fight broke out due to extremely hot weather conditions, which surpassed 40 Celsius, and a lack of food for animals because fewer tourists have been visiting over the past years and the country's ongoing drought conditions. It's been reported through locals that this is the first time such a large quantity of monkeys have had a big fight. 
This could be a military takeover of the monkey clans. Lathbury province, about 140 kilometres north of Bangkok, is home to the thousands of monkeys that typically roam around the city and have become the province's main tourist attraction. Let's hope the monkeys can sit around and discuss their differences and come to a happy ending, like us humans do. Johnny, so I am reporting. The Konsi Tamarat province. Approximately 100 students have come down with diarrhoea. The school hired a song tower to take the children to the hospital or hospitals for treatment. An investigation found that the cause of the diarrhoea was down to boiled eggs made by the school. So obviously that was no yolk, was it? A Thai passenger plane crashes into a Gulf Stream G450 private jet at Wataya International Airport in Vientiane, Lao. A 40 million private jet rudder was snapped off after a plane with passengers on board crashed into it while taxiing to the runway. The Gulfstream G450 was on the apron of the Wataya International Airport in Vientiane, the capital of Lao. But a Thai Airways Airbus A380 carrying 79 passengers and 13 crew was being towed from the gates while preparing to take off when it collided with a smaller plane. The embarrassed pilot had to stop and usher all the passengers off the aircraft to be taken to a hotel for the night. People watching said the wingtip from the commercial plane hit the private jet which can cost up to 38 million US dollars and 43 million US dollars. The airport worker who did not want to be named said the insurance will cover the cost of the pairs to the jets but is very embarrassing accident to happen. The airport is not busy so I don't know how they crashed. The 79 passengers and 13 flight attendants including the pilot were taken to stay at a hotel. The Wataya International Airport is Laos main airport but still relatively small to other Asian nations. So why the parking problem? I think someone in all this is cross-eyed. Sounds like something out of that Flying High movie. China to cooperate with the Asian nations on the South China Sea. A look at recent developments in the South China Sea where China is pitted against smaller neighbours in multiple territorial disputes over islands, coral reefs and lagoons. The waters are a major shipping route for global commerce and are rich in fish and possible oil and gas reserves. China has confirmed its willingness to work with Asia to ensure stability in the South China Sea, despite growing concerns amongst countries of the region. The Thai Prime Minister General Priyat Achatachat suggested that the bloc should remain committed to negotiating a code of conduct, or COC if you like, in the South China Sea, creating an environment conductive to peace, stability and for long-term peace. The South China Sea dispute involves both islands and maritime claims among several sovereign states within the region, namely Brunei, the People's Republic of China, the Republic of China, or if you like Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam, an estimated 3.37 trillion worth of global trade passes through the South China Sea annually, which accounts for a third of the global maritime trade. 80% of China's energy imports, 39.5% of China's total trade passes through the South China Sea. Since 2013, the People's Republic of China has resorted to island building in the Spratly Islands and the Parcel Islands region. These actions have been met with wide international condemnation and since 2015, the United States and other states such as France, the United Kingdom, Australia have conducted freedom of navigation operations. Johnny Siam reporting. Casacorn Bank, also known as K-Bank, Green Bank, stops all foreign money exchange due to the COVID-19 virus fears. K-Bank closed exchange booths and closed foreign exchange in branches. Staff working in the exchange booths have been put on a 14-day stay-at-home quarantine. Also, the Krong Bank has followed the K-Bank and shut its foreign exchange down. So that's yet another uh, stop to uh, the tourism, which if you can't change the money and you've got to do it the other way around, it becomes expensive and you're not getting the, the rates. But, uh, you know, every country has talked about 
you know, the concern of money laundering and things like that in the past. Maybe now, in some real sense, laundering your money could be a good idea. But I'm not quite sure what detergent you'd use. And don't peg it on the clothesline. On a windy day, you might come out with a deficit. Johnny out. Johnny, so I am reporting. With the world doing silly things in the midst of the virus, toilet paper has become a treasured item. The UK is also going through this ludicrous panic buying of toilet paper. But to keep a little bit of humour, an amusement arcade has filled one of their grabber machines with the prize of toilet paper rolls. For 30p, you too can have a chance and try your luck to get one of the treasured items. Johnny out.